cleaning up history with care and respect. Love this story. One man has made it his mission to take care of a cemetery on the Cape. Liam Martin is here with the story, new at 6. This guy's case about 110 years worth of dirt. And Charlie McGibbon has made it his mission to clean it all. These are museums. You know, they're, they're the history of the town. These people paved the way for us. So we owe it to them. We really do. And that's what drives me. Charlie decided to clean every headstone in the West Dennis Cemetery. He's been at it for three years. And so I started at the corner, and I'm up to probably almost 800 stones. One at a time, he carefully scrubs the old headstones, then applies a biological spray. I know that they use this product at Arlington National Cemetery. When he started, almost all the gravestones were black and unreadable, not anymore. Weep not for me, my companion, dear, for I would Jesus rest. And when I see the stones clean, it just, it, it's so rewarding, it's unbelievable. Charlie chose this cemetery for his labors because his parents are buried here. He does this hard work three or four days every week for free. Totally supported by my wife. I think she's happy to get me out of the house, but I, you know, but that's uh, only a guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I can do uh, up to five or six, uh, but sometimes it may take me two, three days to get a stone where I need to get it. Charlie hopes to finish cleaning the West Dennis Cemetery next summer. This is part of the community, just as much as a living person is. These, these things are just monuments to the people that were here and the hardships they went through. They didn't want to be forgotten. By the way, when he's there, Charlie is also researching the genealogy of each person buried at that cemetery. He gives that information then to the town. And volunteers all across Dennis and other cemeteries there are also doing this. And in fact, this weekend, the town is holding a training session for anyone who wants to join those cleanup efforts. And David and Paula, you can really see the difference in those headstones from before he cleans them to afterwards, just black to beautiful. Oh, yeah. And Liam, thank you. What a great story. And when you think about, you know, the people who stood and cried there yeah. over that loved one, it's really a beautiful tribute to them that he's doing that. And you would imagine some of the newer stones, there are families who will oh, notice sure. the difference and just imagine how emotional that will be for them. Yeah, really beautiful, beautiful job.